What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the next best thing, the best alternative to doing the organic coffee enema cleanse. Rob, for whatever reason, we're not going to do the organic coffee enema cleanse. It's just not gonna happen. And I respect everyone's personal decision to heal in their own way. So this protocol is specifically to take the place of an organic coffee enema. And going through this protocol once, all the way through, will equal doing one coffee enema, pretty much. So the first part of the protocol is the water fast. A simple 24 hour water fast will do you perfectly good. Make sure to do the water fast in the most effective way you know how. I do have a lot of water fasting videos. I suggest planning out the entire day, coordinating everything from the time you wake up to when you're gonna take your salt bath, when you're gonna do your different functions throughout this water fast because this is a water fast based protocol. Okay, moving on. Number two, what you're going to do with your water fast is one salt flush. To do a salt flush, it's very straightforward. You take 32 ounces of room temperature, warm, or slightly cool water. Room temp or warm works better. Then you're gonna add to it two teaspoons, not tablespoons, but two teaspoons. They don't have to be heaping, they just have to be full teaspoons of some type of quality salt. I like Celtic salt. Right here, that's what I use most of the time. Um, Himalayan sea salt works amazing too. I've also had a lot of success with clients and myself with Aztec salt. Just make sure your salt is quality. So you'll do a salt flush and you wanna do your salt flush around midday. So noon, do your salt flush at noon. That works really well with your circadian rhythm. So if you've started your water fast, you've let your process, you let your body go through the process from five in the morning till about 11 of its own autophagy and deep detoxification. Then we're gonna wrap it up with a salt flush at noon. After your salt flush, you're going to chill and you're gonna give yourself at least three to four hours to just simply relax. Let the salt flush work its full magic, then recover from the salt flush, the salt blush, the salt flush from hydrating with tons of water. After you've given yourself a three hour break, then you're gonna move on to step three, which is the eczema healing yoga sequence. So the eczema healing yoga sequence, and I will go over this right now. So the eczema healing yoga sequence or the skin disease fighting yoga sequence can be found at holistichealthactivation.com, the three phases workbook. Um, but I'm gonna go over it right now. So the routine is crescent lunge, down dog, warrior two, triangle, dancer, cobra, seated twist, bridge, legs up the wall. And there are a couple different ways to do it. Um, for all of the details in the step-by-step -step guide, just grab the book, it's all in there. Um, but here is the sequence in order. First, we're gonna start off with crescent lunge. It's very simple pose. So pose one is crescent lunge. From there, you're gonna move on to down dog. Then from there, you're gonna move on to warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Then from there, Trikonasana, also known as triangle pose. Next, we're gonna do Natranasana, dancer pose. With all of these poses, it's not about doing them as hard as you can. It's about getting into the position and breathing and being as consistent and comfortable as possible. That's the true key to yoga, controlling the breath, combining them with the movements in a very deliberate way. This isn't weightlifting, we're not pressing. So you wanna be very smooth with it. You can also just do each pose in a very gentle way for about 30 seconds to a minute and repeat this sequence as many times as you want. So the next pose is Cobra Pose, AKA Bhujanasana. Next pose, Seated Twist. Very simple, straightforward. 
And our next pose is bridge pose. And that's what it looks like. And last pose is legs up the wall. Simply do these in order. Take your time. Last pose is child's pose. And that wraps it up. Super, super easy. It's a restorative based, very alignment oriented yoga sequence. Good luck with it. And the final step will happen after you've done the 24 hour water fast and you're gonna break the water fast the next morning. You're gonna do a 32 ounce water with two full lemons squeezed into it. We're gonna really address the liver in the morning and that will be your 24 hour protocol that can be a, their best alternative for doing the organic coffee enema cleanse. Now, let me just give you a few tips on making this thing work and wrap this video up for you guys. 24 hour water fast. At noon, do your salt flush. After you've given yourself about three to four hours after the salt flush, do the eczema healing yoga sequence. The next morning you will break your water fast with 32 ounces of lemon water. Two full lemons going into that. Once you've drank that water the next day, you can go back to your nice clean eating. You don't have to do anything special. You can just go back to a nice clean eating diet and you'll be good to go. And that's the entire protocol. It's very straightforward. It's very simple to do. And like I said, it can take the place of one coffee enema. So doing this once and going through it once will take the place of doing one coffee enema. So on the phase one protocols, for those of you guys who have been asking the question, is there an alternative for the coffee enema portion? Here it is. Um, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Remember, if you have any questions or comments about this topic or any, leave them down below. If you're looking to get a hold of me to become a private client and have me lead you through all this crap instead of trying to do it on your own, hit me up. Uh, holistichealthactivation.com is where you can find the three phases workbook. You can find a free consultation sign up. Um, all of that's listed in the description box below. Um, also, make sure to subscribe and share if you're digging these videos. Um, if you're not, um, I'm not sure why you're probably still watching. Most of you guys who don't like me or don't like these videos probably aren't. So if you're still watching, I love you guys. Thanks for the support. Remember to hit the notification bell. Remember to subscribe and remember to share. The whole point of my entire YouTube channel, the whole point of what I do in life is to raise awareness and support people who are dying from skin disease like I used to. There is a way out of that hell and you can naturally, slowly and effectively heal your skin and keep it nice and clear and clean. Mine's been disease free for eight years and my health keeps getting better and better and I wanna share all this information with you guys because I love you. Um, anyway, have a great rest of your day. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.